guess where we're going today? Chicago! Yay! <laughs> yeah, who's that cute baby? We uh, have kept her awake past her normal, like a good amount past her normal first nap. She's got a full belly and we're really hoping that she takes a nice three hour nap for our three hour car ride. <laughs> we'll see. It's probably gonna backfire. Well, first stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we are on our way to Chicago. <laughs> We're on the road again. So we've eaten our delicious delicious food and uh, so good it's so gray outside you guys we were just talking about it. it has been gray for a month i swear we have not seen yeah. the sun in weeks we saw it literally 10 minutes ago and that's why we were talking about it, it was like five minutes of sun and we were like <gasps> <You're> so <laughs> we're trying exciting. to soak up <laughs> we're, uh, we're using yeah. our gopro by the way and it's kind of cool because i have it attached to the window and so, and it's got a like microphone on it. So hopefully the sound sounds pretty good. And yeah, hopefully- Yeah, this is your new one, right? Yeah, I'm excited. It's cool that we can actually see in the viewfinder. That's yeah. Really cool. So um, we uh, are, what, two hours away basically. Yeah. Um, but we're on 65 North. Heading up heading to Chi-Town. Um, I think I cut it out of what we were talking about the other day, cause whatever, but we, um, I just read the book about Chicago history called mm -hmm. City of Big Shoulders, which was, Super duper interesting, and so I'll uh, I'll pepper in some of the fun nice. facts that I learned from that book. But if you're looking for a history of Chicago, I did a bunch of research before I did my research. <laughs> so I did a bunch of research on different books about like the history of Chicago, mm -hmm. and this seems to be just about the only one that like covers everything from um, like as far back as we know, like any written history, all the way up until now. Um, and it includes so much, and it was like the perfect amount of each you know, decade. But there were some other books that apparently were about Chicago history that like went all the way up to like 1893, but then that was it. So like it included the World's Fair or whatever, and then it stopped. So yeah. It didn't include anything, you know, about the 20s and all that kind of stuff. So I, I feel like this was the perfect book for me to, to read all about the history of Chicago. So, you know, hold on, I want to pause you there. I was just thinking, I feel like every time I think about the Chicago in history, I always think of the World's Fair. And I think part of that's to do with what's the book that we all read, Devil in the White Devil City. Devil in the White City, yeah. So, but... I was like, gosh, there are like three events to me in Chicago history that are like the I, he talks stand about this. I wonder what three, he says there's three things that like. Okay, the Great like, Chicago Fire. Yep. World's Fair. Yep. And I, oh no, I just forgot it. Don't say it. Hold on. Oh, uh, um, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre or Valentine's oh, whatever. that was not one of his three. I don't remember what the third one was now either. Well, now I need to know what that third one is. I'll look, at, I'll, I, I'll look at my book. I forgot. What was the third one? It was the Chicago well, Fire, the World's Fair, and then the... Uh... Well, when you find out, let, let us oh all know. Oh my gosh, because be crazy. I am genuinely so curious. Um, I also looked up, so morbid, but where the St. Valentine's Day Massacre... Is that what it's called? Why does that sound wrong? Yeah. Anyway, uh, where it took place, and the building isn't still standing, but like you can see like the lot where it was, which is just kind of interesting. Well, we'll, right. we'll end this here, and uh, we'll, we'll catch you on the flipping. See you guys in Chicago. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Oh, if you enjoy this, we were just talking about how this is a lot like our travel video. So this is this is a travel video. I was like, not a lot like this is exactly. This what is exactly what we do. So again, our vlogs, and then I do like travel videos, but those are different. So if it says vlog, this is what you're getting. <laughs> so just in the future. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> well, we never would have guessed this. We're like 20 minutes outside of the city. Felicity's been awake most of the time. She slept for like a little bit. This is the one we never thought would fall asleep, but she fell asleep. We're like, <gasps> what do we do with our time? We've been playing the alphabet game. <laughs> Properly here now for like a you can few see minutes. Navy Pier way over there to the right. Beyond all the traffic. Oh yeah, you can kind of see the. There's the wheel over there. So we'll certainly go over there at some point. Yep, here we go. So I lived here for a few years, and the school I went to is down there. 
um, which is just kind of fun to see. And then there's uh, all the parks around us, which is so pretty. I mean, it's so gray, but that's how I remember Chicago. <laughs> there's my school right there. Roosevelt University, you can't really see it. The Congress um, Hotel isn't the, uh, doesn't Congress the Symphony, Hotel's next to it, super Symphony performs next to that, right? But see, all these buildings, these are all within the last, like, five years, and a lot of these buildings have been built up here on yeah. the, uh, the south side here of Chicago. Oh, that they is didn't, definitely true. They didn't used to be there. There's the Art Institute. The second mayor did we to think for a lot of this. The first mayor did we to think for a lot of it before that. <laughs> Thank you, historian Tyler. <laughs> we, uh, do you want to talk about Burnham? Daniel Burnham. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. We've got some restless kids, though. It's definitely time to get out of this car. They came over with a wagon of stuffed animals, and Gigi got to pick out a stuffed animal for her and for... Lizzie, how sweet. These are really soft. Okay. Wow. That got was a, a lovely welcome. Got a whirlwind there. So we just got to our room. It's, uh, uh, it's a beautiful room here. It's got like a little table here. And we called, I called before we even left home. And I was like, can we get a crib? And they've already got the crib in here. It's very nice. We'll, uh, we'll tell you about the name of the hotel and all that kind of stuff where we're staying in a few days. But this is just a beautiful, beautiful space here. It's, it's really got a, uh, a one bedroom over here. I want to dive into this bed and go to sleep. This yeah, is this awesome. is pretty cool. And then the bathroom looks yeah, really sorry. nice. <laughs> sorry not really to back into Gigi and you were backing into me. Yes. Okay, we got a shower here. And then over here, there's a nice bath. Very nice. <laughs> Jessica just said, have you seen our view? And I have not. Oh, wow, oh. look at that. Well, there's that. Wait, you might be able to it's see the so apartment beautiful. building I lived in. It's so beautiful. It would have been like a oh, two blocks man. that way. Oh, we might have to walk over there. Come it's on. So, it's so beautiful. You love it? Yeah, look at me. <laughs> wow. a little bear <laughs> all right we are about to go we uh have already completely destroyed this hotel room but we uh we haven't even unpacked and the room is already destroyed but we are about to go to paisanos we uh this little girl took a nap not a long one but better than nothing uh and then Gigi here uh she relaxed for a little bit so now we are about to go out to get some dinner we're all cozied up what do you think do you like that hat I do. We're all geared up, baby. You're the only one without a hat on. I had one. I didn't bring it. I mean, it's in the room. I didn't. Oh, so you didn't it. bring it at all? No, it's in the room. I, I like, actually don't think it's as cold as. No, I, it should be fine. I always envision it being the way I'm used to it. It's, we all have I think sweaters. It's like Forty. I'm like, I think we're going to be way too warm. Yeah, sweaters and coats. Yeah. And this one might be a little too warm. <laughs> Probably better that than the opposite. I started to take my B-roll and Jessica said, for private party, babe. so well here, so from my understanding, Paisanos is for those that are in the know, right? This is the, this is the well, place. I mean, there's plenty of, but this is. There's the Giordano's, there's Lou Malnati's, right? Well, and those have like become franchised, so we can get both of those in Indy. But Lou, Paisanos. Paisanos are Paisano. I actually don't know how to say it. This is where we always went when I lived here and it is just And this is, so good. this is also Supposedly. where Oprah would go right. Supposedly, there's like a certain table holder always, you know. And you know what? If it's good enough for Oprah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's gonna good say enough it's for me. <laughs> so good. So yeah, we gotta find so a new place. Speaking of pizza, Giordano's or Giordano's. All right, <laughs> get some deep dish. All right, let's yeah. go. Looks like they've got the park. Sorry, I have a glove in my mouth. It looks like they've got the park all gussied up. Oh, that checks out. Duh, the ice skating's right there. Apparently, that tree is new this year. It's so cute. What a cute addition. So we're walking by this, and we figured we'd come closer. I don't know if they're like in between or if they're about to start because it looks like people are in line. There's the bean, how fun. Loving the vibes. <laughs> There's that tree. I am thankful that it is not nearly as cold as I think we thought it was gonna be, so that's good. Hopefully the other days will follow suit and it's not as windy because that's that's how it gets you here in the windy city. <laughs> they're running to the 
Well, to the Christmas tree. <laughs> Posing. Can I see? Can I see? It is. It's, I, I, I can envision this becoming like there if it's, you said it's new maybe this year. I think so, yeah. I could see this becoming their like thing and they're like slowly but sure it'll get bigger and bigger and people hear about it and then it'll, like think about the 30 Rock Tree, like that's a big deal. I had but to start we, somewhere. What did we just learn? That oh, it was like, like a construction, construction workers, workers wanted a small tree there, yeah. And got a tree and they like loved it and like literally by the next year didn't like. Something like that, yeah, within a few or, like, years. Rockefellers themselves, like anyway. And now it's obviously well, like Cute one of the most famous Christmas trees in the world. And to give you some idea of where we're looking, this is the, the tree here we keep looking at. And then there is the bean and there's the uh, the ice skating rink and all that. Oh, look, they, look, they're open. They weren't open like five minutes ago. They must have just opened. 7.01, so that must be when they start. Gigi was so excited to run over here and see them start skating. <laughs> we just watched a Blippi episode where they skate, so she's like, yes, I'm into it. <laughs> but low-key, the bean being back there is pretty cool. I know, I haven't either. It's so cool. All right, so I don't know about you, but when I think about Chicago, about railroads what? right do you know I think about railroads like how Chicago got started I think about railroads like Chicago being a railroad city but what actually started in Chicago was this this is what started Chicago because when the Erie Canal What's my favorite show oh <laughs> NBC <laughs> Oh my gosh, the uh, wait, oh, the office. Man. Every yeah. show we watch is on well, NBC. So also, that's... but the office, it always And then on... that's gosh. hysterical. Gigi, you are so smart, kid. But when I think about like so the Erie Canal connected all the Great Lakes to uh, basically all the way to the Mississippi River. Once they got to Chicago, they had to create a few canals to get to the Mississippi River, which connected essentially the Atlantic Ocean all the way into the Mississippi River. And so all these all these waterways are essentially what created Chicago. And then Railroads came in, and I know you're tired. You're tired, and you're cold. She's like, stop talking about history. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's very interesting, and I'll talk about it later. Okay, okay let's go. You. All right. So we all know that I'm a suburbanite, but this is what's so fascinating to me about city life. Look here. You have this here. This is office space. One, two, three floors of office space, and then right next to it, you have an apartment building. So these are all apartments here. So yeah. I'm like, how odd that. You have right here, like 10 feet from your bed, you have somebody working in a cubicle. That's just so odd to me, and I love it. This is why I love city life. Just the thinking about the, the actual life that happens here. Living right next to somebody that's doing something so different from you, mere feet from where you live. Ah, I love cities. So we swerved yeah. again. I don't, this place is called Sweetwater, and it's literally not far from where we were walking, so I kind of worked out, and... Uh, we have a kids menu, and I'm like, Genevieve, they have mac and cheese, and it's like craft mac and cheese, which we know she likes, and that's literally what it says, like perfect. And so I read her the options, like, oh, mac and cheese, honey, that's, you know, and she goes, pizza, I want cheese pizza, and I'm like, when has she ever, like, like, she never requested she cheese said on it, I'm like, okay, but I'm like, please eat it. <laughs> Are you going to eat the cheese pizza if we get it, you promise? All right. I love it. Good. <laughs> Felicity, do you want some cheese pizza, too? I don't think so. We decided that instead of doing uh, Giordano's or Luma Nari's tonight, we're going to do Paisano's another night that we're here uh, so that we were not uh, compromising on quality. Hey, As if I'm good. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. They're all really good. I think I might do a burger tonight then instead so I'm not eating so much pizza because I could eat pizza every single night. Maybe I'll just have a pizza every other day. Is that fine? I, I think that's you. fine. Everyone knows me. I'm a pretty upbeat, pretty positive guy. I have one gripe. I 
can't stand restaurants that are, the music is so loud. I can't even hear, I, Jessica's across the table three feet from me and I cannot hear her, not even, two feet. Well, Tyler, that's problematic that is, I can hear you fine. And you've been complaining a lot about not being able to hear, so I think okay. you that's my, that's my big gripe though, is when, at, yeah, at a restaurant yeah. when music is too loud and I can't hear the people I'm sitting with. I got the jalapeno habanero something nonsense burger with tater tots. I'm trying to keep her little hands away from. <laughs> Jessica got a couple appetizers. She got, uh, what is that? Oh no, I already forgot. I think it was like buffalo chicken, but like in wonton. Ooh, that looks pretty good. And then good. cauliflower, but it's like kung pao cauliflower, so. Yep, and then her cheese pizza. <laughs> you like the music? <laughs> With the music. <laughs> she made us laugh earlier and she saw Gigi laugh and she went, and then she went <laughs> You are so funny. Do you like this music? Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> She's so tired. She's so tired. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> okay, made it back to our room. Oh, okay, um, I saw a crumble cookie. And this little girl, we did promise dessert to today. So she picked out what kind? What kind did you get? Oh, wow. Girl. Wow. <laughs> Can mommy have a bite? <gasps> you share? I'll let you have the first bite. That was so sweet. All right. You're like, we're very, we all of us it. are so giggly. Um, full of sweet. Like that's our lives. <laughs> our <laughs> lives are us. Also, I'm still like chilled to the bone. Yeah. I'm gonna totally get a bubble bath. If you guys saw the bathroom, I'm like, oh yeah, that's happening. Yeah, I'm a little jealous. I'm gonna try and... Uh... I mean, you can too. We can just trade. True. I said we should sit in there cheek to cheek and then sing dancing cheek to cheek. <laughs> anyway, that aside, um, I feel like... Uh, um... Should we get that out of <laughs> Um, it's the fact that you <laughs> you're facing away from it. Um, anyway, so the girls are both asleep, which is awesome. Well, she's, she's awake, but she's so happy. You pulled out, it's a pull-out bed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Daddy set it all up, yeah. and we brought her one of her blankies from home, and she's just so happy out yeah. there. Oh. Mm. Um, but this hotel is just, it's very, very cool. I'm yeah. very glad we settled on this, but we um, are going to, I'm going to try and get this footage uploaded from today for Justin. So uh, if you don't know, Justin Zachman and his lovely wife, Lacey, and I, maybe their kids, I don't know what their kids are doing. Maybe they're editing too. I don't know. <laughs> are editing Someday, these sure. vlogs starting yesterday. And then they're editing all this time we're in Chicago. So thank you so much. They are the best. They edit oh my, my the, our videos all year round. Mm -hmm. um, and then during Vlogmas, just because there's so many every day, I was uploading those and doing those. But throughout the rest of the year, Justin edits them and Lacey and they are just... Awesome. Excuse me, call them by their proper name. Z-Roll Productions, thank you. Yes. So they have a, their own channel called RZ-Roll, and they're just the best. I mean, they are... Also, yeah, for real, shout out to them, because they... I feel like I've told the story of how it all started a lot, but, like, they were... I discovered them just watching, like, Disney vlogs, and I was like, who is this just lovely family? Yeah. And it was so entertaining. And so I'll link the Disney vlogs that made me fall in love with them, their yeah. family... And since then, they've also had another baby, but they uh, also just do like chill Regular vlogs, at home vlogs. Yeah. So, so like, if you like what we do, yep, you're gonna like what they do too. Absolutely, yeah. like they, and they are just the sweetest family. I just adore them. So anyway, so thank you guys for editing all these while we are uh, traveling here in Chicago. You guys have made our lives so much easier. Yeah, you're just we feel the best. like we could like actually be here for a few days yeah. and enjoy it. And not like there's still some work we're having to do, but not feel like 
you know, because the editing, it takes a while. And so, yeah, so. yeah. So you guys are awesome. Anyway, so uh, while you're in the bath, I'm going to try and get unpacked a little bit. Um, yeah, get this footage uploaded and then I'm going to bed, man. We, we didn't do a whole lot today, which we knew. We knew we were going to get a late start. We knew that we were going to get here and not have a whole lot of time, but we honestly did a little bit. No, um, we, cause we kind of knew we were like, well, maybe we'll just stay in and like, yeah, order I'm glad we went out or something. I'm, I'm glad we did too. Yeah. So we, uh, we'll hit the ground running tomorrow and do a lot more here, but it was still a fun little, uh, well, evening. I don't know that we're going to be hitting the ground I'm gonna running. I'm going to run. And if you catch up, great. If not, I'll <laughs> see you later. <laughs> I'll be behind with like <laughs> I'm picturing in yes dear in the intro oh, that's such a where he's show. got like all the like blow yeah. up things and man I did not know sense, but... when I watched that show when I was like 13 I had no idea how, how accurate. accurate that was that little intro was man we mm -hmm. cannot go anywhere we used to travel with a small carry-on and like a backpack each and yeah, now we travel like with them. 26 suitcases we traveled no. with today <laughs> that's a lot of suitcases for four people <laughs> It is kind of crazy, though, and it's, you know, there's certain things that we'll just, like, buy when we arrive, like, if we, especially, like, this is a short trip, so, like, diapers, for example, I just packed, but, yeah. like, if we were going somewhere for a week, we would just buy diapers when we get there, yeah. you know, it's less things. But my di my diapers. We, we travel with the kids' diapers, my diapers, yeah. we just pick up when we're there, because everywhere sells them. But, not your brand. Not my brand. All right. Anyway, we got to finish this here. You're going to make me keep yawning, and Sorry. then they're going to keep yawning, and then... And then every, suddenly we all turn into one giant yawn. <laughs> Ready? What do you think? Uh, no, um, I, I already... I'm tapped out. You're yawned out? All right. Well, we'll dry. see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>